there's a storm coming, I tell you. Things are going to change. It's in the air. With sand in hoof and sore ass. Let's ride into battle and see what we think of the Battlefield 1 beta. Let's ride, boys! Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. And yes, today I'm going to be having a look at the Battlefield 1 beta. Probably everybody, every man and his dog has probably played this and tried this by now. And you're probably going to have your own thoughts on the game. But I thought, you know what, I'll chip my 10 pennies within and I'll have a look. Now, I've been involved, well not so much involved, but I've played all the Battlefield games. Going back to the original first Battlefield, I'm sure my age now. All the way through 1943, 1940 and whatever, all the way up to the modern day stuff. And for me, Battlefield 3 was probably the last game that I actually spent a lot of time in. Battlefield 4 for me when it first came out was just so buggy, laggy. It's just, I had a really bad time with it, really. Yeah, sure, some of the weather effects and that were, were great, but there was just something about the gameplay that just didn't grab me anymore. So when the Battlefield 1 beta was announced, and especially when they mentioned it was going to be World War 1, I, I was very dubious. I'll be honest, I was. I thought, oh, God. Is it just becoming more of a rehash year after year after year? But from the looks of it, they've actually decided to, let's just say, jump out of the envelope, whereas... Horrible shitty games like Call of Duty are just getting ridiculous with kangaroo jump, robot legs and all that garbage now. To Battlefield going back to the original, you know, back to World War One, I, I think is a probably a gamble, but I think it's a, such a totally refreshing thing for them to do. It's almost given Battlefield a new lease of life. So let's jump in and I'll give you my thoughts from originally just jumping in straight away from the beta. So here we are, this is the main screen, we can create a squad down here. Now isn't it nice to see something that doesn't look full on modern military? And the fact that we get to play as the Ottoman Empire and the British, of course I want to play as the British, really gives you that kind of patriotic feeling, you just want to play as your own country. But as you can see down at the bottom we've got Sniper, which is basically Scout, Support, Medic and Assault Class. And I'm going to go straight in as Support, my first game, and let's get in and have a look. And wow, initially what hits you is these graphics are absolutely stunning. This really is a beautiful looking game, my god. I mean, the, the wind just blowing the, the sand and dust up there. Um, I mean, we, we already know about the audio. DICE always did amazing audio. Even I remember when they first did the developer's uh, diary for Battlefield uh, Bad Company 1. It was amazing. So it looks like we can put mines and ammo down. Reminds me a little bit, I guess, of um, Bad Company. You know that kind of feel, but wow, th this really is a stunning looking game. And it's extremely well optimized as well, is another thing that I noticed straight away. The old, the old games were very sort of a little bit sluggish in places. This just looks absolutely incredible. This new spawning in mechanic, I think, is really good as well. It brings you out and then back in, but it doesn't feel as though it's actually taking you out of the game as a whole. A lot of times in other games, like such as Battlefield 3 or 4, when you died, it's almost like it felt like you went to a kind of menu system, just a boring map. That, the way it zooms in and out, is fantastic. And I don't know why I'm trying to charge an enemy tank with a bayonet. It's probably not going to end very well. Now, vehicles... Multi-crew vehicles is just fantastic, and I love the way that there's actually animations to get in and out of these things. The majority of them, you have a driver who has a basic gun, and you can get two or three people in there. I won't say 50 cal, because obviously that's not what it is. But as you can see, I'm using here quite effective, even though I can't move the tank. Now, an interesting aspect that they've added in is you can actually repair your own vehicles, but it means you can't move the tank, so you are completely vulnerable. You can't move, you can't do anything. And that works for the aircraft as well. Now, on screen, you can see mustard gas, which is something that I've been using a lot of. And in-game, you can press the T key to put on your actual gas mask. But putting on the gas mask means that you can only hip-fire, so 
it's almost like they've thought of everything in this game. And really, when you, on paper, if you were to say we're going to do a World War One game, you kind of think it really wouldn't work in the Battlefield franchise. But for me personally, it's almost, almost got to choose carefully about this could be honestly one of the best battlefield releases we've seen in a long time if not one of the best multiplayer games in this style because this in no way is related to anything to do with armor or pr or the simulation side and regarding the last release star wars i bought into it because i thought it looked beautiful and soon realized that it was absolutely shallow there was nothing in that game it really was for children it was just absolute i'm sorry but it was it didn't even deserve two out of ten it, yes for the actual map design and the audio and everything else but there was no gameplay there whatsoever let's be honest it for me it was terrible and i think i probably played about four hours and thought you know what that's enough for me don't want to play it anymore now on screen i'm actually playing with the scout which is basically the sniper and this is probably going to be something that a lot of people have noticed actually on the forums having a look have mentioned for me i think there are too many snipers in the game what tends to happen on Conquest, well, especially Rush, actually, is you get into a real good firefight, you know, back and forth, back and forth, throwing grenades, and all of a sudden, a sniper on the hill just takes you out, and it completely kills that enjoyment you get out of that close quarters combat. Obviously, there'll be certain maps where snipers are going to come into their own, uh, with this being quite a flat map. There's not too much verticality in this, apart from the couple of cliffs on my right and left here on screen. Hopefully, with this being World War One, we will get some trench warfare. Close quarters stuff, which is where the the charge with the bayonets and the uh, close quarters with the bayonet, the shovel and everything else comes into play. Hopefully, we do get some of that because even though this is World War One, there is a lot of license here um, for weapons that were never actually made, that were never actually created. I've just got my head caved in there. Um, hopefully there is some of that in there, out of, just out of pure respect for the soldiers that fought and died in World War One. I. I hope there is something in there of historic significance and it's not pushed too far for the sake of just a game. <laughs> Battlefield 3 and 4 for me, I used to love being in the APCs and the vehicles and vice versa on the other side I used to enjoy being the RPGs and fighting against the vehicles these vehicles even though they're not ultra modern they're just really really satisfying to use there's something about this era that makes everything much more satisfying when you actually get a kill at the other end I think during this period of World War One and World War Two it was more about the ability for the soldiers to get the kills to, to aim to shoot and there was skill involved a lot of the modern day stuff you know it's especially like with armor when it went super modern that technology takes away the skill and the visceral combat from the actual boots on the ground this feels like it's almost gone back to that or even if you're facing off against an enemy 20, 30 foot away, you can sometimes take eight or nine shots to actually line up and get a decent shot. So if you love your vehicular combat, and this is a sign of what's gonna be coming in the actual full release, you are gonna be in heaven because the vehicles are really, really satisfying. And regarding aircraft, it's not my bag. I can't fly for shit, I'll be honest. But what I have seen, there are bombers and fighters, and they're not completely invulnerable. There is AA in the game, and it's that's also satisfying trying to take them down. Weather effects, again, in this game much like Battlefield 4, are absolutely incredible. They really do change the battlefield. And I know we were speaking about snipers earlier, but when that sandstorm comes in, snipers are absolutely useless, as pretty much are the air vehicles. It really does turn into super close quarters combat. Now, there are some 
upgrades around the level. This one, as you can see on screen, is an actual flamethrower, and you can pick these up randomly around the map. It's just a pity that I have seen on occasions finding, running across one of these, four people waiting in line trying to grab it, which kind of takes people out of that battle. Probably not really a way to get around that, but it does feel fantastic getting this flamethrower. I think one of the side gets a automatic automatic machine gun as well. And infantry, when you actually come close to quarters with them, the range on this thing is quite good, and the infantry do burn. Now, it sounds horrible to say, but it is quite satisfying. Throwing this out, getting the infantry on fire and seeing them running, and they actually scream and the bodies burn on the floor as well. Very, very It's kind of like a, a bad way to say it, but it is very satisfying as is also using the incendiary grenades, which you can also change. Throwing this into where uh, you're capturing a flag or a point, such as on Rush, and seeing the infantry just running in all directions on fire is just very, very satisfying indeed. Are you? First aid. Hey, you bastard, have some of that. Queen and country! Come here! Come here, you bastard! Fucking have it! Have it! <coughs> yes, melee combat, again, is very satisfying. Hearing a head crunch or a bayonet get stubbed, stubbed, get stabbed into somebody's ribcage, again, very satisfying indeed. And if I can give you a tip from my experience in playing in the beta, infantry are best off, especially on this map with so many snipers about, is stay in the buildings, stay in cover. This will protect you somewhat from a lot of the vehicles and you really do get into the close quarters combat that makes this really quite visceral and a different, a completely different gameplay experience from when you're outdoors. Out of all the classes, the medic for me feels the most rounded. It feels the most satisfying to get kills with a single bolt action rifle. The ability, again, as you can see on screen, you can use the syringes to bring friendlies back and you can also kill the enemy with a syringe if you weren't aware of that. The support class is a strange one. It actually increases its accuracy the more you fire, which seems kind of strange really. So forget the simulation aspect of small bursts for suppression, doesn't matter. Just absolutely blat it down there. I hope that changes slightly, to be honest with you. Uh, the Assault class is really not an, a class that I play, but if you're into uh, squirting, running in, squirt, 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 get out, die, kill, repeat, shoot, then that's going to be the class for you, especially when it comes to the close quarters combat like this. Sniper class is not something I enjoy playing. It's just, it's just not for me. A lot of people are finding it annoying. And, and incidentally, you see up at the top right, People are already hacking, you fucking cunts. Go fucking headbutt a spike. Why, oh, it just, oh. The game hasn't even come out and people are hacking already. Just go get fucked and die, honestly. I, just people like this are just scum. COD players, fuck off. Rant over. So anyway, let's sum it up here because the uh, video's running on for nearly 10, 12, 13 minutes long. For me personally, this is the best battlefield that's been released in a long time. And I'm even going to put this, actually based on the beta, above Battlefield 3. Now you're probably going to say, well you can't do that because the game's not out. But if we're going to base what's coming with what's in this beta, the fact that it's absolutely polished. Yeah, there are a couple of bugs, but when I say polished, I mean the quality of the graphics, the actual combat and gameplay and vehicle, vehicle, the way the vehicles feel and the interaction between the team play is, I think, is one of the best battlefield experiences. And hats off to DICE. I always had a lot of respect for DICE. It's EA I don't like. They can go suck balls as far as I'm concerned. No wonder they get voted the worst company year after year after year. And I am actually can't wait to jump in and play some more. I'm even tempted to buy the Season Pass and actually go for it. Because a lot of the Season Pass for Battlefield 4 I never even played, to be honest. I just... it just really didn't interest me. But the way this feels as you play into the infantry and stay indoors, it all comes together to make a really exciting visceral package. So if you're on the fence about Battlefield and you got stung and had a bad experience like I did in Battlefield 4, just put that to a side try the beta, try some of the things I've said, and hopefully you'll enjoy this as much as I have, because 
I honestly cannot wait for this to come out in what less than eight weeks now. Certainly an enjoyable game, and I think I have a feeling on the last day of the beta, which will be in a week by now, we'll get the second map. It's, it tends to be what they've done on the other releases. But so far, this definitely gets a pair of thumbs up. I absolutely think this is one of the best battlefields ever. So let me know your thoughts and comments in the box below, and let me know what you think about this, and maybe we can jump in. And maybe I can bayonet you in the chest. I'll see you in a, another video coming real soon. Thanks for watching. I've been Paraplays.